welcome friends to my uh, channel and uh, this channel is for uh, python data analysis series so today i will be discussing about pandas basics so with the help of uh, jupyter notebook and jupyter is uh, like open source software for interacting and computing across that is used across multiple programming languages so i'll be using it uh, for python and pandas is a very fast powerful manipulation tool analysis tool that is built on the top of python so we'll be you know uh, you know seeing or uh, doing some hands on with the help of uh, python and jupyter so in in pandas basics you will be learning data frame what is data frame data frame is the primary pandas data structure that can help us analyzing uh, two dimensional data like the tabular data the data could be of uh, from csv file or excel file or a json file or a simply two dimensional array of uh, uh, python so once we have the data we can just add a particular column or multiple columns we can delete multiple columns or a single column like select few columns of your interest filter a uh, particular couple of rows based upon some conditions and filter columns as well as rows and at the end we'll be seeing uh, group by group by some column and do a statistical analysis like summation or count or zero mean like that that will be getting and finally we'll be exporting the data to csv or excel file okay so we'll be going to jupyter notebook for our handshake so okay so the first line this is the jupyter notebook the first the only line we'll be using for pandas like import pandas as pd so run it and import it and these are the thing that will be you know uh, seeing it whether it is uh, uh, how how does it go so okay in this this section we have the headers and the data like the headers is like name gender a city vehicle like five number of columns this is my data around uh, 20 so we'll be seeing it how many number exact number i have created so this is like two dimensional array array containing another array or you can two you can call it as two dimensional list list containing another list okay so this is one line uh, you can also import uh, from a csv or excel file or some other external source or some json file so here though we have created the data for two dimension data so i will be just uh, importing the 2d data here so this is the one line pd the data frame that you can do this is the date i will have and what columns you have columns you have already defined as underscore headers so this line will be giving me a data frame here so we'll just run that data frame again we'll just see what is the de de description of the data description means it will give you the count uh, mean standard deviation max like that this is like the quantile 4 quantile 25 percent 50 percent or uh, 75 percent so though we have only a yes, contains only numeric data so we'll be getting the uh, numerical analysis uh, statistical data only for that is okay this is the description okay going to uh, get the shape of the data like it will give us uh, the number of rows and number of columns number of rows as 18 and columns as 5 okay i want to see the top 5 number of uh, you can uh, manipulate that you can get top 3 you can make it as top 3 also okay top three data similarly bottom five number of data that you can get or any random number of samples like random five numbers i can get it by this okay if i run it again we'll get another number of uh, fives that is pretty simple okay so the let's assign that um, the total number of our 18 to a variable so i'll be using it length by the help of length assign it to total number of records okay so i'll be using directly here because i want to add a column like 
a column should contain 18 number of records I cannot uh, type it 18 so I can do this multiply with 18 it will give me a list with 18 number of uh, records like which contain India so in order to add a new column called country name here this is the column name called country I will add it this is my array in the simple line you can add it okay we'll run it whether we'll see whether uh, by taking a sample whether the country is added or not as you can see I have picked the three random samples where uh, country is uh, reflected because I have added it here okay now I want to drop uh, is a gender okay I'm not going to drop it from the original uh, data frame because I'm going to need all the data and for future and, uh, analysis so let's assign that to a new data for new data frame and get the samples so in this line with the help of drop and columns you can assign multiple which columns you want to drop okay we'll run drop it okay as you can see is and gender is gone they are gone similarly okay this is the number if you want to get the number of columns you can just uh, help of the df dot columns you can get name gender or like the five uh, one two three four five six because i have added it later one is a six okay let's say uh, some cases you want to transpose the data like uh, row into column column into row you can just run it here and uh, that is row is transposed to column like that okay so our assignment is uh, like uh, sort by values so a is which is the column that is ascending a false means i want to sort it by descending is like uh, it will be a is descending maximum is 70 let's suppose i want to make it as uh, true i can run it so it will be like ascending ascending is true like that so like like sort is sort by value sort value by is that is the column okay another thing like filter column or multiple columns so here with the help of df you can just uh, give the column name here either or df dot s this is my attribute name this is data frame dot s or you can give date dot uh, ct dot vehicle or dot country like that so okay i'll run it so here you will get all the s so i'm getting s column along with the index i don't want the index you can just uh, do the values if you give the values this s will contain only 34 like s so here as you can see only as is containing the is here the first one is the first one is the uh, pandas uh, series and this is like list at a time so okay that i'm just trying to print it here so here it is the type as you can see this is list this is series okay so in the next we'll be going to filter uh, two columns like name or age so i'm going to fill it you know in the square bracket inside the square bracket i'm going to give the list and the list i have uh, two colors name or right. or you can with the help of loc this one will give you the range like all rows i am not giving any starting or end so that this means it will give me all rows and this is my columns two columns either way you can do it so here as you can see name and is i have selected along with the index okay now i'm going to filter select star just like in sql language select star from table where a vehicle is any like the number of records the number of persons who don't own any vehicle here df inside the square bracket i give my conditions df dot vehicle equal to na i can do that i can turn it here so let's suppose i am to see the vehicle who owns bmw bm it will give me the person who own PMW like that so if we're going to add uh, two such conditions like AS is less than or equal to 40 and who, who owns vehicle as BMW like that you can run it with the help of this bracket and separate it by and this is my condition because I want and okay once you do that you have uh, filter the condition as you can see here i'm giving i'm getting a four number of records here i'm getting 
3 because I, I have added another condition less, is less than equal 40 so this will be dropped out. similarly if you want to do you know if you want to select um, uh, few columns and few rows like select name is city vehicle where is less than 40 and vehicle is Volvo so like that this is my way of selecting columns that's why I've already discussed here selecting columns this is my way of selecting rows that I've already seen it here or with the help of LOC also you can do like this is my number of all rows and this is my columns because the rows I have already selected it here that way you can do okay let's run it okay Volvo this is my vehicle and A is less than 40 oh, okay the condition satisfied that is pretty good okay now we will go to the group by I want to group by based upon vehicle many how many number of vehicles each vehicle has we will get the count okay Audi has 2 BMW is 4 Jaguar 1 like that Volvo 3 so the vehicle count is distributed like this across now 18 number of records we have the count is like this okay if I want to get the count by vehicle iron city vehicle the first primary count and then subcategory city we will get the count as you can see BMW Bangl Audi Bangalore has two Audi and then Bhubaneswar Chennai Jaipur Mumbai has one one of each so it is just like this is my primary level and this is my secondary level of hierarchy that you can do the group okay finally we are here to dump the data that whatever, whatever the original data because I have not uh, manipulated this data the original data we to drop it to CSV file so in, by doing this line you can dump it to CSV file this is my file line so the, here is the limitation is not limitation this is the functionality that you will get the index and here let's suppose i want to draw indexes indexes this is the index that will come this index g02 will be 70. i don't want that if you don't want that you can just give tf.2 csp this is your file name thus add another you know, condition like index is equal to false a similar way you can just dump that to excel sheet and what is the sheet name sheet name is cars and index is also false because I don't want the index so okay, I'll be running it okay here I will have uh, two CSV file here let's run it I will have Excel yeah Excel is fine so here you can see recently this was created let me just show you with index index I was trying to say here we are to 17 that I was trying to show all the data in the CSV file that is pretty good okay i'll go to the without uh, index as you can see index is not here and i'm going to view the data xls here like this download it it will open it for me in the excel microsoft ms excel file here without excel yes everything is here okay and the same source code uh, is uh, you know they are in the githubs that you can I will be sharing this link in the YouTube channel in the description below so thank you all do like share or subscribe and stay tuned for my upcoming videos thank you see you bye bye